Hey guys, it's Tanika and in today's video I am going to be reviewing the new BYS Bloom palette. If you want to hear more about this palette, see some swatches, a demo and hear my final thoughts then just keep on watching. Starting off with some details, BYS is an affordable, cruelty-free Australian brand and you can pick it up here in Australia from places like Kmart and Cosmetics Plus. You are also able to shop online through their website and they do ship internationally, so just have a look and check that they ship to your country. The BYS palettes have been quite popular over the years and this new one really has me intrigued. It has an array of pinks, nudes and deep red tones with a mix of matte and metallic formulas and it retails for $16.95. Their palettes come in the classic tin packaging. I am obsessed with this beautiful purple and pink cherry blossom situation going on. So pretty. All right, so to start out, I've already primed my lid using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I haven't set it with a powder. So I am using a wet base. All right, I'm going to start out with the shade Blushing and press this into the outer corner and also slightly into the crease. Okay, the pigment's all right. I'm dipping in again. That builds up nicely. And then just slightly pressing that into the crease. Next, I'm taking the shade Plump and I'm going to use this to blend out this darker color. So I just lightly put that along the edges. And I'm also going to take this right into the inner corner. So far, this shade has really nice pigmentation and it is blending into that deeper color really nicely. For my lid shade, I'm going to use this beautiful purple color. It's called Elegance. I'm just going to use my finger to apply it and see how that goes. It is a little bit crumbly, but it's applying nicely. It's very pigmented. I'm just kind of patting that onto the outer edge here to blend into the other shade. And then I'm not gonna take it all the way in because I'm gonna put a lighter color down. So I have had a bit of fallout with that shade. I'm just going to take a brush and lightly dust it away. I'm just going to see how it applies with a brush. I've just dipped it in and I'm going to wet it with some spray. This might help with the crumbliness. Crumbliness? You know what I mean. It applies well with a brush. I guess it does stop the fallout when you're using it wet. Let's do the other eye. All right, so I applied this eye with the brush only and it looks really good and definitely less fallout. Because I went over this side with the brush after I used my finger, I feel like it looks a bit more chunky on the lid. So don't do that. <laughs> this lid looks good though. I've just wiped off my brush and now I'm going to dip into the shade Starlight. I've wet this one as well and now I'm going to apply this into the inner corner of my eyelid. That's nice. I really like with these shadows, I can see the four different colors I've used. Nothing worse than when you've got eyeshadows and they just all like blend into each other and you can't tell that you've used four different shades. And then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that same shade to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to use those two matte shades on the lower lash line as well, starting out with blushing from inner to outer corner and then using the shade plump to blend that out. If you don't like going really smoky under the lash line, then I suggest using a brush like this one, my Sigma E15, it's my absolute favorite. You can get nice and close. I like to personally smoke out my lower lash line a lot because I've got really creasy under eyes and I find that smoking out the eyeshadow kind of hides that. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm actually going to take that brush and use the two darkest browns in the palette and get really close to my lower lash line with that. All right, I am going to apply some mascara, finish the rest of my face, and I'll be right back to chat about my thoughts. All right, so this is the finished look, guys. I am so impressed with this palette. I know I've only used four shades in this palette so far, 
but from what I have tried, I would absolutely recommend it. They were pigmented, they blended so easily, there was no patchiness at all. The only con I can think of is that there was a bit of fallout when using the shimmer shades because they did feel a little bit crumbly. But as I showed you, I wet them with some spray and that pretty much fixed the problem. The colors in this palette are absolutely beautiful. You can get a huge array of looks because you've got those lighter shades and also the deeper shades. For $16.95, I think this is an absolute winner. And if you are into these shades, you should pick it up. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching today. If you enjoyed, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on the palette down below. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. If you want to see more BYS, I do have a tutorial and first impressions on the peach palette as well. So I will have that linked down below. Come follow me on Instagram if you aren't already, because I will definitely be doing more looks using this palette. All right, that is all from me. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.